Hi, I want to share something that I've been working on in the last few days. This is related to the job queue, um, and this is something that's used by Venger to communicate with the background worker or worker processes. So I've got open right here the um, job queue docs, and it's got a little diagram of what's going on. So let's say a request comes in, uh, rebuild the search index. Um, so rather than doing that rebuild on the main server process, which is kind of um, resource intensives we send it off to the worker the worker does it runs it on a different process it doesn't affect the performance of the main server that's serving all the requests to your storefront and then later on the worker comes back and says okay the job's done and that's the basic idea so um, Venger comes with a, a default implementation of this job queue uh, it's called the default job queue plugin and the way that works is that it stores these jobs in a, a table in the database and the worker um, periodically polls that table to check is there any new job, is there any new job, is there a new job and if there is a new job it then grabs the details, runs it. So this works fine for um, kind of smaller sites uh, without too much um, going on on the worker, without too many uh, queues being defined. The problem comes if you have a lot of um, a lot of background queues defined, which is not uncommon on a on a kind of more big or complex site, or if you're using multiple workers at once, which is totally a valid way to do things. Um, because the problem is that each worker will pull uh, the the database for every single queue. Uh, so let's say you have five queues defined, then it's going to pull five times. For each queue and the default interval is 200 milliseconds so that means for each queue it's going to pull five times a second so if you have five queues it's going to be pulling it's going to be querying the database uh, 25 times every second so you can probably see where this is going at, at some point the performance starts to really impact the the database server so i've known this has been an issue for a while uh, some of the the larger project using venger got around this by um, implementing their own job queue strategies based on um, things like Google Cloud PubSub. Um, and so I've wanted to solve this in a nicer way, in a way that's available for everyone for a while. So um, last week I started doing a proof of concept to see if we can uh, build a job queue strategy that's based on Redis. And the real the goal of it is to be able to um, implement a job queue um, strategy which instead of polling is uh, gets the messages pushed to it so this is a much more efficient uh, kind of paradigm for dealing with the job queue the workers just wait there kind of idle they don't have to do anything and every whenever a new job is available it gets pushed to the worker the worker does the job and then it just sits there waiting for the next job to be pushed to it so the nice thing is that uh, redis has this kind of functionality built in and there are also uh, a bunch of different libraries out there that implement this kind of push-based job queue on top of Redis. So uh, yeah, I, I looked into this library, Bull, which is the well the most well-known um, of the Node uh, libraries, like job queue libraries, built on Redis, and it kind of does everything that you need. It's very full-featured. It's used in a ton of projects. And uh, yeah, I tried to implement a job queue strategy built on Bull, and it was actually quite surprisingly easy to get a, a proof of concept done. It took me just a few hours. Um, the the code of it is here, so you know that's basically the core of it. It's like less than two hundred lines, um, and I want to just show you quickly like what effect that has on performance. So in order to kind of demonstrate this, I've got a, a, a plugin which is basically sets up a number of uh, job queues and then it defines a, a mutation start task and when you execute this mutation it just runs a job uh, and the job itself is just a, a kind of a, a loop with a, an async kind of uh, sleep command. So it doesn't do any real work. It just you can. It just takes up some time, and it's going to trigger that job for every queue we've got defined, and we can um, 
set up like a variable number of queues. So here in my config file, I'm setting it up here with 10 queues. So if we set up 10 queues, that means in the default job queue plugin, we're gonna have um, 10 queues times uh, five. So 50 uh, queries going into the database per second. So on top of that, I'm gonna have the server running here. So let's start up the server and I'm going to run not one, but two workers. So that means we're gonna be actually querying the database a hundred times per second. And I wanna just show you what uh, impact it's having on performance. So here's Docker um, with the po Postgres image running and you can see the CPU usage. And so now we've got, okay, both workers have started up and now we're just idle, we're not doing anything particular, but you can see the CPU usage is hanging around between like 15 to 20%. If we go over to um, our Postgres admin panel, let's see, transactions per second, when we're just kind of idly doing nothing, we have, what's this? Kind of hard to see as it's moving. A hundred, around a hundred, yeah, which makes sense. Okay, so I can send this mutation, and this is going to actually now do the work. Run that a few times, and if if I uh, just open this up at the same time, we can see what happens when we actually run the work the CPU usage on Postgres spikes up to like 30, even 40%. My fans are going now. I don't know if you can hear them in this video. Okay, so that's that's the problem. That illustrates the whole issue. Uh, this is what people have run into when they start to scale up their Avenger projects. So let's now stop all these. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and one other thing I wanted to show you is when nothing's running, um, Venger's not running at all, like Postgres is idling at like around 1%, 2%. Don't know why, don't know what it's doing. It's probably, yeah, I guess it's this. So that's just the kind of um, the baseline, like one to two, three percent CPU usage. So let's go over here now. We'll disable the default job queue plugin and we'll now use this new um, bull based uh, job queue plugin. This is going to be used in Redis now. And let's start the server and we'll start the first worker and we'll start the second worker. Let those run. And now as this starts running, we'll just keep our eye on the CPU usage on Postgres. We we'll see it's not really changing. I think this, the workers are still starting up. Yeah, okay, so now they're running. And we see the CPU usage stays around like zero to two or three percent, like the, the baseline. Let's run these um, jobs. And if you recall, when we did it in the default job queue plugin, it's jumping up to 30, 40 percent CPU. So let's run them here. I can like run them actually really rapidly. And there's zero effect, of course, on Postgres because we're not even touching it when we're running these jobs. So then you might think, okay, what CPU is Redis using? So let's go over and have a look at that. Uh, here we go. Redis, stats. Okay, so as I run these rapidly, Redis gets up to about 3% CPU. So, you know, we're talking like an order of magnitude less CPU usage. So um, this is pretty much ready. Um, just need to write some tests and package it up with a readme, but it should be made available in the next minor release version 1.2. I hope to get this out as a package uh, in the, you know, at Venger slash job queue plugin kind of namespace on NPM. All right, see you soon.